Hello viewers, a warm welcome to you to the maiden edition of Nan Weekly Gist. I'm your host, Lenient Akutunu, joined by my co-hosts, Anita Uzuaba. All right, we're excited to bring you top stories of the week, spanning from entertainment to judiciary to sport, and of course, business. Let's dive right in. First, let's get into judiciary stories. Cases of child molestation and sexual assault are on the rise globally. Just this week, a court remanded a school headmaster for allegedly defiling a minor. This goes without saying that parents and guardians should constantly vet and revert where and with whom they leave their kids. Moving on, due to the high rate of hunger and unemployment, a welder has been jailed for eight months for breaking in and theft. <laughs> wow. Next, we move to the latest buzz of the entertainment industry. Yeah, I can say for a certainty, right, that parents wouldn't mind their children pursuing the music career, especially with how well the music industry is doing in Nigeria. I mean, a few days ago, Davido, Burner Boy and Whiskey topped the nominations at the African Art Entertainment Awards. Wow. Yes, the African Art Entertainment Award aims at recognizing the talent and skills of African artists. Well, may the best man win. Next, in an exciting turn of events, the controversial and highly debated show, Big Brother Ninja, is back to our screen for its ninth season. Ooh. Yes, actually, it's a means to an end. I mean, endorsement deals are made, dreams are realized, and guess what? The wow. winner gets to go home with a hundred million naira. I wish I would be going. I wouldn't mind. And the organizers have also promised to unveil certain truth and changes at the premiere on the 28th of July, 2024. So fingers crossed, get ready because it's going to be a ride. All right, we'll be switching the gear to our top stories in sports. Thank you, Lenin. Let's take the focus a bit away from football. I mean, not everyone can play football. True. But again, there are other sporting activities mm -hmm. like squash. Just recently, the chairman Lagos State Squash Association, Mr. Tommy Falase, said he was optimistic that Nigerian players would go far globally with their brilliant performances. In cricket, Nigeria level series beat Kenya by 14 runs. That's a great feat. Yes. We hope they win. And finally, we'll wrap up this section with the latest news and trends from the business world. Yeah, a new trend has emerged in town where young people enthusiastically engage in tapping, popularly known as tap swap or tap to earn. But is this truly beneficial or a potential trap to lure our youth into addiction? Wouldn't a points-based system similar to those used in the supermarkets be a better approach? I mean, individuals get to accumulate their points over a given period of time, providing a more suitable reward. Lastly, Exchange rates for the week. US dollar to Naira exchange rate is set at 1,584 Naira, 93 Kobo by the Central Bank of Nigeria as at today. Dollar started the week at 1,566 Naira, 0.39 Kobo. This equals to a 1.17% increase for the dollar. With this, we've come to the end of this week's edition. Catch you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.